Hi, this is Sandeep Jali, Karan Sud and Manos Berlakis, presenting case 284 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating dual use of the Stingray system for re-entering during CTO PCI, followed by provisional standing. The patient was a young gentleman with multiple comorbidities who came with inferior STEMI and had an unsuccessful attempt for PCI. He subsequently had a cardiac MRI that showed edema in the inferior, inferoseptal and inferolateral, with viability in the circumflex and mixed viability in the right coronary territory, and he was sent for PCI of the right coronary artery CTO, and this was the coronary CT. The right coronary had recanalized, and uh, there was uh, a CTO of the circumflex. There's some calcification. There's a bifurcation on the distal cap. Looks like a short occlusion. And this is the coronary angiogram. We do have the CTO of the uh, proximal circumflex. The, uh, bifurca there's a bifurcation on the distal cap. This shows it a little better. There is this uh, first uh, obtuse marginal branch, and then the CTO, and then the distal vessel with the OM2 and distal circumflex. So to summarize, what we have is a blunt proximal cap, short length, bifurcation distal cap, and this is filling mainly vibes lateral bridge and collaterals. Therefore, the plan was to try with undergrade wiring first, followed by ADR, and leaving the retrograde as a last resort. We did an attempt for undergrade wiring. This is uh, probably one of the last uses of the over-the-wire venture catheter that has been discontinued, but a it is a catheter that can be bent up to 90 degrees, providing very strong support for the guide wire. But unfortunately, we see the guide wire, and this is a guide next two as well as a guide next three, seems to be in the extra plug area. So after failure, of undergrade wiring, we decided to switch to knuckling, to ADR, and this is important for circumflex lesions because often there's a lot of tortuosity in the circumflex that is not immediately visible on the angiogram. So we had a knuckle mongo wire that uh, seems to go along the course of the second obtuse marginal branch. And then we did um, uh, use a subfire to be able to deliver a microcaster further down, and then we switch to a Miracle 6, which is a wire that is used for delivering a device such as the Stingray balloon that is delivered here. We then did the double blind stick and swap. We used a Gaia X2 for puncturing, followed by Pilot 200. Thus, that did not work in this portion of the OM, second OM. We advanced the Stingray a little further down, and then by doing that, uh, um, we had a, a little better luck. And uh, as shown by the injection, we actually have a distal true wire lumen position. We ballooned, and now we have flow into the OM2, but there's not much flow going into the distal circumflex, and this seems to be a decent sized branch. Therefore, we decided to try to recanalize it, but the wire kept on going into the OM2. So to prevent the wire from getting there, we inflated the balloon, partially in the circumflex and partially in the obtuse marginal. This is essentially an example of the side base or balloon-assisted subintimal entry. And by doing that, we were able to direct a knuckled wire along the course of the distal circumflex. We then did the same steps, uh, deliver the stingray balloon, and did the double blind stick and swap. Once again, guy next to, pilot 200. And similar to the first time, uh, we were able to advance the guide wire into the distal circumflex as confirmed by the injection. We predilated, now there is flow into both branches. But the question is now, how do we deal with this? And the traditional teaching is that one should use a two-stand strategy because we have dissection planes. The re-entry was further down into the distal circumflex and the obtuse marginal. At the same time, this was relatively small vessel, both the OM2 as well as the circumflex. So we were concerned that using a dual stent technique such as DK crash or culotte that uh, would carry higher risk of stenosis. So we decided to attempt uh, the provisional, having said that, leaving a guide wire into the circumflex. So we stand it uh, from the circumflex into the obtuse margin. And that provides actually a nice result. We then extended the LAD under expanded vessel, 
we went to a 3.5 millimeter OPN, so slightly undersized, 40 atmospheres, and we can see that this is nicely expanded with uh, a nice result, both in the LAD as well as the circumflex. The flow is not the best into the distal circumflex, but there was undergrade flow, and we did not want to place any additional stents, so we accepted this result. So in summary, this is an example of dual use of the Stingray to recanalize both branches of a bifurcation at the distal cap. This has been shown in previous videos. One of the last one was a video 243 where there was actually use of DK crush to recanalize a diagonal LED bifurcation of the distal cap. But this case demonstrates that in some of the cases, the provisional approach can be successful even when we have used a dual reentry into the system. And finally, the OPN balloon at 40 atmospheres was successful in expanding a balloon undilatable stand into the LED. Thank you.